think our transmission uh, process so is going to be right now is more probably a more critical thing, and that's going to be next Tuesday, and it'll be from two o'clock to eight uh, p.m. at the uh, paddock building at the fairgrounds. Uh, people can come any time between then. Uh, we sort of encourage people to uh, understand it might take them at least at least thirty minutes to go through there. And I said the importance of getting information is the is the big thing that we're looking for. But it's also a two-way thing. You got questions of us, and we're going to impart information to those uh, individuals. Uh, Al, uh, without getting too specific, well, generally when you start one of these projects with the, the large lines and the poles and all those sorts of things, what are some of the stumbling blocks that you guys have to work with? Some of the uh, issues that usually pop up in this sort of situation. Uh, you know, routing the transmission line always has challenges. Again, we want to try to minimize the impact, and so. Uh, some of the things that can happen is uh, maybe we'll come across a location where there's a center pivot and we want to avoid that center pivot, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe there's plans for construction or something else uh, that we learn about. And uh, so those are the kinds of things that we're looking for again. And that's why it's so key and so important for the landowners to show up and talk about their property and give us this, this type of information so we can come up with a good route.